If you're the enemy, you really don't want to face one of these. The Apache AH-64 has long been the world's most advanced attack helicopter, seeing action with the UK military over Libya, Iraq and Afghanistan. And this is the latest version, the AH-64E Apache. After five months of testing, this has now been signed off as operational, with 50 of these due to enter service with the British Army by 2025. Although it looks exactly the same, all of the changes are predominantly on the inside, all of the software changes um, with a few external features. So that we've got different blades, different engines, because we're taking the US engines rather than putting the British Rolls-Royce ones in. This has now got a uh, moving map for the first time versus our, our black screen with green string, which is what we used to have on the Mark I. We've now got a moving map. Um, we've got it's significantly uh, smoother to fly, it's nicer to fly, but generally the handling is pretty similar to the Mark I. It's all about the software and the change on the inside. Front seat, the co-pilot gun has now got a colour tads, uh, which means we can now Speaking to troops on the ground, when they say, look at that red car, we can now see a red car uh, versus the black and white that we used to have in the old aircraft. The, the camera is significantly better, so the zoom is better. We can pick out things such as number plates because we've now got this picture in picture, which means we can um, continue to look at the, the bigger picture, but also have a small um, stepped in field of view on, on a certain uh, item if we need to. The Apache has been in service with the British military since 2005. This new E-model has a top speed of 186 miles per hour and can detect 250 targets at once from 10 miles away. Underneath, it carries the same deadly 30mm cannon, the same calibre gun as a warrior fighting vehicle. Here at the Army Aviation Centre at Middle Wallop, they teach Army aircrew how to fly it. And for them, this new version offers a massive leap in performance. It's, it's a pretty incredible machine, yeah, I have to say. I, I'd probably be very biased as someone that does fly it. Just the design, the ergonomics around it, and basically the ability to let us do our job and what we're supposed to do, um, yeah, it really is second to none. So it's got the GE701 Delta. Uh, it's a 2,000 uh, shaft horsepower engine. Uh, and when you combine that with uh, the new rotor blades that are on the aircraft and the transmission system means actually we can use that power. Whereas uh, that was probably a limiting factor us with the Mark I. The, the Rolls-Royce turbo mechanical engines are fantastic, but um, the limiting factor on that was they were more powerful than the transmission system can handle. So now we have more power that we can actually utilise. We've got yeah, the Hellfire Romeo variant is coming in with the, the multi-seeker warhead. And we've also got the Jagum, which is the joint air ground missile coming in. And again, yeah, that's just uh, going to increase that reach and lethality once more. The MOD's invested nearly £300 million in this first delivery of aircraft. Their arrival is also creating 200 new jobs, both here at Middle Wallop and at Wattisham in Suffolk, where the bulk of these new Apaches will be based. As the British Army pivots towards a growing Russian threat, the arrival of these new aircraft couldn't be better timed. Faster, smarter and more lethal, and a proven battle winner. Simon Newton, Forces News, Middle Wallop in Hampshire. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.